It's been a long time coming this one, but Infinity Ward have finally dropped the reveal trailer for the next Call of Duty game, and no, it's not Modern Warfare 4, it's Modern Warfare! That's it, they've just decided to cut all the numbers. Cut all the numbers. <laughs> this is maybe like a bit of a mini mm. reboot, apparently. Uh, if you're hyped for the, uh, the new Modern Warfare, let us know and smash that like button. Whether or not you're a Battlefield kind of fan or Call of Duty, they've both been pretty good, to be fair. They have, yeah. And obviously, Call of Duty are saying that this trailer shows it's looking to be a Battlefield beater. So, um, Oh, <laughs> yeah. competition. So we will see. Oh, we I like the sound of that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, looking forward yeah. to this. We are. Uh, let's go for the trailer. Actual in game. In game graphics. One, two, six, actual. Target is in the main house. Pretty sharp. You have execute authority. Bravo six. Going dark. Oh. Start clear. Oh my days. <laughs> I'm in shock. How oh. good did that look? Now, that, oh. if that is true and that is in game, which I have no reason to believe otherwise. No, they stated at the start. That was like a cinematic. Game. It was as good as cinematic, but they stated it was in game, so I can see where people are raving. You had a lot of modern warfare people said, okay, yeah, it's the fourth version apparently of this kind of. Wow, well, you know, I mean, they need to bring it back, but. Yes! Look at that. I mean. Yes! It's probably their dream, isn't it, of what they originally wanted. And they didn't have the, the quality of graphics or probably a lot of other things it can do ah, now. Precisely. And this is coming out, right? So, all right, PCs go a bit of a higher spec. We get that. Yeah. But then it's coming out on the Xbox One and the PS4. Imagine this on the next gen console, what they can do in another five years' time. That's true. That was. Uh, way better than I thought. Hands up to them, mm. you know. Uh, great job yeah. done. And single player campaign returning as well. I'm all, I've always been an advocate of the single player, providing it's done properly. And you can get a bit of a lengthier one, that'd be good. Because a yeah. lot of these games never. I'm impressed by the. Yeah, some of the, the graphics in that were really stunning. And I like the, the night vision, the, the way that was lit. Great. That looked good. Sometimes yeah. the night vision is a little bit iffy, and I've never liked playing some games in night vision. But that looks like. That's, that's not going to be like annoying, is it? It's like a real. No. I feel like you're a SAS guy or something. Really it don't, in there. For me as well, it's not too futuristic. It, I think it's actually set in modern day. We've had too many of these games now being set always yeah. like World War One or World War Two or like some sort of war. We, now we're more modern day as well. This is right up my street. I must admit, yeah, it does look exciting. Don't it? I'm, yeah, this is just a reveal trailer as well. Yeah, um, it? yeah. Um, but it is due out this year, isn't it? October the something. Twenty fifth, I believe. Um, we don't. We could talk all day about this. Really, that looked fantastic. Can't, can't wait for some more trailers. Yeah, uh, E3 2019 around the corner. We will it's cover some more content. Away, yeah. We do. Uh, smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because uh, well, I want to see some more I want to see some gameplay a lot of people will say gameplay is what we need to say that's what we could do yeah uh, other than that thanks for joining us let us know your thoughts and uh, see you all soon catch you on the flip side <laughs>